The first European settlement in Australia was a prison camp. It was named after the British Home Secretary, Viscount Sydney. But this was also an Enlightenment project. Britain had some 200 crimes punishable by death. The hanging of hundreds of people, including women and children, was making an enlightened society queasy. Sending convicts overseas seemed more humane. And so there came to Australia people like Elizabeth Powley, who'd stolen a few shillings worth of bacon and raisins. And James Grace, who'd taken ten yards of ribbon and a pair of silk stockings. He was 11 years old. Captain Arthur Phillip was the first governor of Australia. He ran a tough regime for the convicts. How are they doing this morning? Hard at work. But his attitude towards the Aborigines was more benevolent. Ah, uh, you see that up there? Native peoples were to be respected, studied and understood. Governor Phillip was an Enlightenment man who was determined there should be no slavery in this new land and that the natives would be treated with respect. In fact, he had personal instructions from King George III himself who wanted all our subjects to live in amity and kindness with the natives. Unable to persuade the Aborigines to make contact with him, Philip tried something which wasn't perhaps so kind. The kidnapped man was a 26-year-old called Benilong. Philip wanted to teach him English so he could communicate directly with the Aborigines. Benilong became a go-between, linking two different worlds. He entertained the British with his sense of humour and his singing and his dancing and he introduced Governor Philip to the language and the customs of his people and in return Philip taught him English and polite manners. And something perhaps rather unexpected happened between these two very different men. They became genuine friends. To the king. King. Good. Excellent. Cheers. On Christmas Day, 1789, Benilong dressed up in the official uniform of the British Navy and enjoyed a Christmas dinner of turtle with Captain Philip. Merry Christmas, Benilong. Yeah. Tuck in before it swims away, what? But after six months, Benilong went missing. It took Philip four months to track him down. Benilong! We have come to ask you to come back. Benilong agreed to return. But first, Aboriginal custom demanded an act of revenge against his kidnapper. Quite remarkably, Governor Philip did not retaliate. Oh well, my goodness. He understood why he'd been attacked, and his friendship with Benilong resumed. Benilong rejoined him in Sydney. 
the British even built Benilong his own house. It stood in the same site that Sydney Opera House now occupies. Benilong was the first Aboriginal man to voluntarily enter the British settlement, but he'd be followed by many more. It's remembered as the coming in, and to start with, it seemed like a great enlightenment triumph.